Hello guy, welcome back. This is more 49ers news. And yes, we are back with the update of day 16 in the 49ers training camp. Um, I've just about three, four hours ago put up day 15 because I was uh, a bit late with that video. Um, I've been coming down with a virus. I haven't been on all week, so I do apologise about that. And... Um, yeah, I'm slowly going back. As you can see, I haven't used my computer. Uh, I'm using my phone. And I'm reading off Grant Cohen's um, article on uh, day 16. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, uh, up to this point. If you're new, subscribe. I'm doing a lot more 49ers news, uh, streaming and so forth from the 49ers. And, um, yeah, guys, I'll shut up and get into it. So, Grant Cohen has put on uh, day 16 of the 49ers training camp it's the uh, the good and not so good from day one of the joint practices with the chargers on day 16 so let's read this on uh analyzing the best and worst performances from day 16 of the 49ers training camp uh costa mesa uh here's who stood out on day 16 of the 49ers training camp and day one of the 49ers joint practices with the chargers keep in mind as uh, I got to see the offensive only today. The defensive practice on the field far away from where I was standing. Okay then. So here we go. The good. Number one, tight end, George Kill. Beat all uh, beat all pro strong safety, Derwan James. Both times they faced each other during one on ones. One first with a dig route from right to left, then one with a whip uh, whip route, fake to the inside, cut back to the outside. No safety in the league can cover Kill con uh, consistently. So that's good by Kittle. Number two, tight end, Ross Dewey, uh, Dowie. Beat Chargers backup safety, Gil, uh, Gilman, with a uh, gorgeous stick nod route. During one-on-ones, then beat him later in the same drill with a whip route. Also caught a touchdown pass in the red zone during 11-on-11s. Uh, uh, Dowie is, is going to get a ton of playing time this season, which is good. Number three, tight end. Jordan Matthews won all of his reps during one-on-ones with ease. None of the Chargers' backup safeties and linebackers could cover him. Matthews is a tough matchup as a tight end. He used to be a slot receiver. Okay. Number four, tight end. Uh, McCall Pert uh, made a long catch during one-on-ones and had a clutch for third down uh, conversion during 11-on-11s. For a blocking specialist, um, McCall is a decent receiver who can get open. Okay, number five, fullback Carl Jusic caught a long pass from Jimmy Garoppolo during the 11 on 11s. Uh, should have caught his second deep one, but Jimmy Garoppolo overthrew him. Uh, Carl Jusic is such a great uh, receiver. Number six, wide receiver uh, Jennings, uh, Juwan Jennings. Uh, Jennings caught a touchdown pass in the red zone from Trey Lance. Jennings has been consistently productive since he returned from the COVID 19 list. He's in terrific shape. Okay, that's good. Number seven, wide receiver, uh, Travis Benjamin. Caught a deep touchdown pass from Garoppolo early in practice. It's interesting that head coach Cole Shanahan keeps calling passes for Benjamin and almost never calls passes for Webster, who played well during the 49ers' first preseason game. Seems like Shanahan wants Benjamin to meet the rooster. Number eight, uh, appreciate to the offensive line coach, Joe Stanley. Uh, drove up from his home um, to watch the 49ers of... Uh, to watch the 49ers offensively, Lyman practice and to get a feel of whether he might like to coach them in the future. Uh, Stanley stood there with a serious expectation on his face but didn't say much. Maybe he was nervous. Okay, well, it's good to see he was there. Right, so that's that. Now we're not so good. Number one, wide receiver, Julian Hurd. Uh, still hasn't practiced since he caught three passes in one day last week. It seems like it takes him a year to get healthy enough to practice one time. Then he needs another year off. I doubt we ever play in a real game. Okay. Number two, tight end, Charlie uh, Warner. Uh, caught a touchdown pass in a red zone drill when he was wide open, but also was the only tight end on the team who lost all his reps during the one-on-one -on -one drills. He's not a good enough route runner to get open. Uh against most linebackers and safeties. Uh, number three, the backup offensive line. It's not an offensive line, it's just uh, uh, offensive. The left tackle is someone named Corbin Kowski because Dralian Moore is now on the starting left tackle because Trent Williams, Sean Coleman and Justin Skull are all injured. The left guard 
is Colton McCavitt. Uh, the centre is Jake Brandle. The right guard is Kiltbait. Was that C? No, Kiltmate. Because Aaron Banks is injured. Jesus. And the right tackle is Tom Compton. This group gave up five sacks in just 22 pass plays. Embarrassing. The 49ers have to play Lance with the starter so they, so they can get a fair evaluation of him. He's playing well with the backups because he's so gifted. But he's running for his life. Christ. Check out my video for the 49ers Titans running backs going one-on-one -on -one against the Chargers, safeties and linebackers. All right, that's it. Um, and that's a short one. Um, yeah, man, they need to step Trey Lance up then. If he's as good as he say he is, because the first week against the Chiefs was embarrassing, and for Carl Shanahan just to keep him in the pocket was disgusting. Um, Trey Lance needs to be with the starters in that week too, because we need to win a preseason game, and I think the Raiders could be it. So hopefully they'll get Trey Lance up and ready and get the starters ready so Jimmy G and, the, and him can go for it. But I hope Trey Lance gets his gets something decent with the starters. Um, yeah, that's it on that one. Uh, leave your comment. Tell me what you think of that, that day. Do you think Trey Lance will be ready with the starters? Me personally, I think he will. We need to do it right now and do what Trey Lance do, not what Kyle Shanahan does. But yeah, leave a comment. Tell me what you think and say about that. Um, thank you very much for the 41 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, appreciate you guys subscribing. If you're new, subscribe. Tell me a lot more 49ers news on the training camps. Any updated news on the 49ers and anything NFL, I'll try to keep up as well. Plus, I was in the 40 minute highlight of my reaction against the uh, LA Raiders as well. And on Tuesday, we'll be doing the roundup of week two of the scores on all across the teams and anything NFL news on top of that and 49ers news as well. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.